Then hasten them here, Rosa, yem the sea, friendless, to fin the Frisian land, houses and high bog. Hanger still, through the death died winter, dwelt with Finn, holden packed, yet he hear me minded. No poorless his ring that prow to drive o'er the waters, no waves roll fierce lashed by the winds, or winter lock them in icy fetters. Then fared another year the men's dwellings, as yet the day, the sun bright skies, that the season ever duly await. Far off winter was driven, fair lay oath's breast, and fain was the rover, the guest, the depart, though more gladly pondered on wreaking his vengeance than roaming the deep, and who a haste nor and kuna, where sons of the Frisians were sure to be, so he escaped not a common doom, when Hoon were laughing the light of battle best of blades his bosom pierced, its edge was famed with the Frisian oars. On fierce heart Finn there fell likewise, on his sail at Yem, the horrid sword death. For Guthlaf and Oslaf a grim attack had sorrowing told, from sea wears landed, mourning the woes. Finn's wavering spirit bored not in breast. The bog was reddened with blood of foemen, and Finn was slain, king amid clansmen, the queen was taken. To that ship, the shielding warriors bore all the chattels the chief knowned, whatever the foon and Finn's domain at gems and jewels. The gentle wife, our pass of the deep to the Danes the bore, led her to land. The lay was finished, the gleaming song. Then glad rose the revel, bench joy brightened, bearers drear from the wonder vats wine. Comes where Theo forth, under gold croon, gans where the good pair sit, uncle and nephew, true each to the other one, kindred in amity. On forth the spokesman at the shielding's lord's feet sat. Men had faith in his spirit, his keenness of courage, though kinsmen had found him unsure a sword play. The shielding queen spoke. Quaff of this cup, me king and lord, brettere of rings, and blithe be you, gold friend of men. To the geats here speak such words and mildness as man should use. Be glad with thy geats. May these gifts be mindful, or near and far, which new thou hast. Men say to me, the son thou wishest yon hero to hold, thy hero porged. Jewel held brightest, and joy while thou canst, with many a largesse, and leave to thy kinfolk and realm when forth thou gainst to greet thy doom. For gracious I deem my hereof, willing to hold and rule nobly by youths, if thou yield up forced, Prince of Shieldens, thy part in the world. I ween with good he will well requite offspring of wars, when early minds that for him we did in his helpless days a gift and grace to gain him honour. Then she turned to the seat where her sons were placed, Grethric and Hrothmund, where heroes bands, young men together. The Giatti sat there, Beowulf brave, the brothers between. A cup she given, with kindly greeting and winsome words, a wound in gold she offered to honour him, arm jewels twain, corslet and rings, and a collars the noblest that ever I knew the author wound. Ne'er hold us a mighty, neath heaven's dome, or hold gem of heroes, since Hammer bore a his bright built bog the Bracelin's necklace, jewel and gem casket. Jealousy fled he, ere Manric's hate, chose help eternal. Here like Giat, grandson of Swarton, on the last day's raids this ring bore with him 
under his banner, the booty defending, the war spoil warden. But we had overwhelmed him, what time in his daring, dangers he sought, feud were Frisians. Fairest of gems he bore with mower the brecker of waves, sovereign strong. Under shield he died. Fell the corpse of the king in the keeping of Franks, gear of the breast, that the gorgeous ring, weaker warriors won the spoil, after grip of battle from Gatland's lord and held the death field. Din rose in hell. We Alfio spake amid warriors and said, This jewel and joy in thy jocund youth, Beowulf loved, these battle weeds wear, a royal treasure and richly thrive. Preserve thy strength in these striplings here, counsel and kindness. Requittal be mine, has done such deeds that for days to come thou art famed among folk both far and near, so wide as washeth the wave of ocean his windy wells. Through the ways of life prosper, O Prince. I pray for thee rich possessions. To soon a mine be helpful indeed in uphold his joys. Here every all of the other is true, milder mood, the master loyal, thanes are friendly, the throng obedient, liege men are reveling, list and obey, went in of a place, that was proudest of feasts, flowed wine for the warriors, weird they knew not, destiny dire, in the doom to be seen by many and all, when eve should come, and Hrothgar yem what hasten away, royal arrest. The room was guarded by an army of alls, as oast was done. They bared their bench boards, a board they spread beds and bolsters. One beer carouser, in danger of doom, lay doom in hell. At the heeds, they set their shields of war, butlers bright. On the bench, were there our each athlon, easy to see, the high battle helmet, the haughty spear, the corslet of rings. Twas the custom, say ever, to be for battle prepared, at yem or harrying, which it wore, even as oft as evil threatened a sovereign king. They were clansmen good. Then sank they to sleep, with sorrow one bout his rest of the evening. As oft time had happened, when Grendel guarded that golden hell, evil wrought, till his end drew nigh, slayed her for sins. T'was seen, and tell to an avenger survived the fiend, as was loaned afar. The live land time after that grim fight, Grendel's mother, Monster of women mourned her woe. She was doomed to dwell in the dreary waters, cold sea courses, since Cain could doon with edge of the sword his only brother, his father's offspring. Up lad he fled, Mark were murder, from men's delights warded the wilds. There woke from him such fate sent ghosts as Grendel, we, War wolf horrid, at here ought found a warrior watching and waiting a fray, with whom the grizzly one grappled a main. But the man remembered his mighty poor, the glorious gift that God had sent him, and his mecca's mercy put his trust for comfort and help. So he conquered the foe, fell the fiend, we fled abject, reft of joy to the realms of death. Mankind's foe. And his mother knew, gloomy and grim, would gan that quest of sorrow, the death of a son to avenge. To hear what came she, where a helmeted Dane slept in a hell. Too soon came back old ills of the olds, when ancient boast the mother of Grendel. Less grim though, that terror. E'en as terror a woman and war as less, might a maid 
Then a man in arms when hammer forged, the falchion hard, sword go stained through swine of the helm, crested where keen blade carves a in. Then was in hell the hard edge drain, the swords on the settles, and shields and many form held in hand. No helmet minded, no harness and mail, where that horror seized. Haste was horse, she would hie afar and save her life when the liegemen sair. Yet a single athlon hope she seized fast in form as she fled to the moor. He wears for Hrothgar a hero the dearest, the trusty vassals betwixt the seas, where she killed on his couch a clansman famous and battle brave. Nor was Beowulf there. Another hoose had been held apart after giving a gold for the Giat renowned. Uproar filled Hierot. The hand Earl had viewed, blood flecked. She bore with her. Bill was returned, dual in the dwellings. Twas dire exchange where Dane and Giat were doomed to give their lives of loved ones. Lang tried King the hoary hero. His heart was sad when he knew his noble name e'er lived, and deed and deed was his dearest thing. To his bower was Beowulf brought in haste, dauntless victor, his daylight brought along with his alls the Athlan lord with his clansmen, came where the king abode, waiting to see if the wielder of Al would turn this tale of trouble in war. Strode our floor, the famed in strife, with his hand companions. The hell resumed it, wishing to greet the wise old king. In Gwynna's lord, he asked if the knight had passed in peace to the prince's mind. Hrothgar spake, helmet the shields, ask not a pleasure. Pain is renewed at Danish folk. Deed is a shearer at Yemen laugh, the elder brother, me sage adviser and stay in council. Sure that comrade in stress of fight when warriors clashed and were warded were heeds, shown the helm bows. Hero famed should be every all as a shearer wears. Both here and hereot, a hand hath slain him a wandering death sprite. I wot not whither, prude of the prey, a path she took, fain of her fill. The feud she avenged that yesternight, unyieldingly, Grendel, in grimmest grasp thou killedst, seeing who lang these liegemen mine he ruined and ravaged. Reft of life, in arms he fell. Now another comes, keen and cruel, a kin to avenge, fair and far in feud of blood, so that many a thane shall think, we have our sorrows and soul for that share our rings, this is hardest our heart bills. The hand lies low, that once was filling each wish to please. Land dwellers here, and liege men mine, we hoose by these parts, I've heard relate that such a pair they have sometimes seen. March deck as mighty the moorland haunting, wandering spirits. One of them seemed, so far as me foot would fairly judge, a woman kind, and one, a corset in man's guise, trod the misery track of exile, though huger than human bulk. Grendel in days lang gone they named him, folk of the land, his father they knew not, nor any brood that was born to him a treacherous spirits. Untrod is a yem, but wolf cliffs haunt, there and windy heedlands fen ways fearful, where flows the stream from mountains, gliding a gloom of the rocks under grown flood. Not far is it hence in measure of miles, that the mere expands, and o'er it the frost boon forest hanging, stodly rooted, shatters the wave. 
The night is a wonder we are to see, fire on the waters. So wise live none of the sons of men to search them depths. Nay, though the heath rover hurried by dogs, the horn proud heart, this world should seek, lang distance driven, his dear life forced on the brink he yields, ere he brave the plunge to hide his heed. Tis no happy place. Thence the welter of waters washes up when a welkin, when winds bestow evil storms, and air grows dusk in the heavens weep. No is help once more with thee alien. The land thou nest not, place of fear, where thou findest to that same fleck being. Seek, if thou dare, I'll reward thee for waging this fight with ancient treasure as Oster did with wine and gold if thou winnest back. Beowulf spake, bearing it edge thee, Sorry not, sage, it beseems us better friends to avenge than fruitlessly mourn them. Each of us almost his end abide in the ways of the world, so when we may glory our death. When his days are telt, that is the warrior's worthiest doom. Rise o'er realm water, ride where none, and mark the trail of the mother of Grendel. Nee harbour shall hide her, heed me promise, and fold in the field of forested mountain or floor of the flood, let her flee where she will. But thou this day endure in patience, as e'er we no wilt that foes each one. Leap up the grey beard. God he thanked, mighty Lord, for the man's brave wards. For Hrothgar soon a horse was saddled, wave me in steed. The sovereign wise stately rode on, his shield on men followed in force. The footprints led along the woodland, widely seen, a path o'er the plain, where she passed and trod the mocky moor. A man at arms she bore the bravest, and best one, deed. Him we with Hrothgar the homestead ruled. On then went the Athelin born, our stone cliffs steep and straight defiles, narrow passes and unnan ways, heedland sheer in the haunts of the Nikos. Foremost he fared, a few at his side of the wiser men, the ways to scan till he found in a flash the forested hill hanging o'er the hoary rock, a woeful wood. The waves below were dyed in blood. The Danish men had sorrow soul, and for shield and zeal, for many a hero, t'was hard to bear, ill for alls, when Asheras heed the fun by the flood on the fallen there. Waves were welling, the warrior saw, hot were blood, but the horn sang off battle song bold. The band sat down and watched on the water warm like things, sea dragons, strange that soon at the deep, and nickels that lay on the ledge of the nest. Such as oft essayed o'er a morn on the road of sails, that ruthless quest, and sea snakes and monsters. These started away, swollen and savage, that sung a hear that war horn's blast. The warden of Giats, with bolt from bow, then bolt a life, a wave walk, one monster, amid its heart went the keen war shaft. In water it seemed less duty in swimming, whom death had seized. Swift on the billows, with bow spears well hooped and barbed, it was hard beset, done at death, and dragged on the heathland. Wave room are wondrous, warriors viewed the grisly guest. Then got him Beowulf in martial mail, 
though mourned for his life, his breastplate broad and bright of hues, woven by hand, should the wet us try, we'll could it ward the warrior's body, that battle should bret on his breast in vain, nor harm his heart by the hand of foe. In the helmet white that his heed protected was destined to dare the deeps of the flood through wave wall wind. Twas wound with chains, debt with gold as in days of yore, the weapon smith walked it wondrously, where swine forms set it, that swords knee wise brandished in battle could bite that helm. Nor was that meanest and mighty helps which Hrothgar's orator offered it need, ruining the name the hilted sword, her old time heirlooms easily forced. Iron was its edge, ale etched with poison, with battle blood hardened, nor blenched it at fight in hero's hand, we held it ever, on paths of peril, prepared again a folk stare of foes. Not forced time this, it was destined to do a daring task. For he bore not in mind the bare edge laugh, story and strong. That speech he had made, drunk with wine. No, this weapon he lent to a stutter swordsman. He sell Lord dost not under welter of waters, wager his life as loyal liegeman. See lost his glory on our oars. With the other, not see, we goaded him new for the grim encounter. 